In this video, I'm going to show you how to use this equation, which is the transformer equation. It's the second transformer equation, which shows the number of turns that it has, the number of times the copper coil is wound round, and compares it to the potential difference. Now, remember, transformers are found in the national grid. Electricity goes into them. A step-up transformer steps it up to a very, very high voltage, and then a step-down transformer steps it down to make it nice and safe. Remember, they can only use AC. Current goes into one side, they go, go onto the coils on one side, which go into the coil, and then that goes into the other side, gets another bit of current here. I've drawn the flashing here because that's what AC is. It sort of goes on and off and on and off and on and off all the time and keeps swapping forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards. And in the middle, you have this laminated core. This here is a step up transformer. You've got the primary on the left and the secondary on the right. The number of turns increases. You can see there's much more here than there is here. That means the voltage increases. If it's a voltage increase, it must be a step up transformer. But don't forget, current goes down, power always stays the same. You're not making any energy. This one here, the coils goes down, uh, turns decrease, meaning the voltage decreases, makes it a step down transformer. Means the current goes up though, voltage down, current up, and of course, power stays the same because it's very efficient and we don't really lose any power. Now, if the voltage increases, it's a step up. That's 10 times higher. The voltage is 10 times higher. That is, what's that? Is that ooh, 20 times higher? Step up again. And this one here, oh, it's going down. It's going down by a factor of about 10. It's 10 times lower. Now, that is caused by the number of turns. So if the number of turns goes down by 10, there's 10 times less. Therefore, the potential difference will go down by a factor of 10. 200 turns, that's going up. It's going up two, by a factor of 2.5, so the, the potential difference will be 2.5 times higher. That looks like it's halving. If it's halving, then the potential difference will halve. Basically, if you double the turns, you double the voltage. If you triple the turns, you've got three times as many turns, tripling the voltage. And if you halve the turns, you halve the voltage. Nice and simple, really. But re there's, a, there's a ratio thing going on here. There's definitely a ratio. And you can write it all down. It's the number of turns on the primary divided by the number of turns on the secondary. And that is equal to the potential difference on the primary divided by the potential difference on the secondary. This is just a ratio. That there is just a ratio. If this has a ratio of 10, this one divided by this is 10, then this one here divided by this one here will also equal 10. Can be written like that. Looks a little bit intimidating because it's got lots of letters around the place. But they all just mean something sensible. The voltage on the primary, or the potential difference on the primary. Potential difference on the secondary. Number of turns on the primary number of turns on the secondary. Each of these two two letter combinations, they're, they're just one thing though. They're not two different things, it's, it's one thing with two letters. There we go, and that's showing what they all are. Now these ones up here, we'll start off by working those out, go through a few examples to work them out. They're reasonably easy. Whereas these ones here, they're definitely more difficult. So halfway through, halfway through, I'm going to change the colour of the slides. And if you just want to fast forward through to see where the slides go a little bit lighter, and they're the more difficult ones. So let's do a few. There's some numbers. There's the equation. Let's put them in. Okay, NP. NP is 100, so we'll put 100 in. 
ns, that's 50, so I'll put 50 in. VP, we don't know, that's what we don't know. And VS is, there we go, 12. 12, so I've put all the numbers in. Best thing, always tidy up a bit. 100 divided by 50 is 2. So that's the same thing, I've just tidied it up, it looks a little bit less intimidating. Now I'm going to get rid of this 12, I'm going to multiply this side here and this side here, both sides by 12. And when I do that, that 12 is going to appear to disappear, and it's going to reappear on the other side. So we've got 2 times 12 is VP. Calculate it, put it into your calculator at this point now, and we get 24. another go. You try it yourself. If you need to pause it, you go for it. All the numbers in the right places. Do a bit of tidying up. Multiply both bits through and rearrange it. Get rid of the 500 from there. Take it to the other side. Looks like it's coming out at 200. Slightly different. Going to have got the number of turns on the primary rather than the voltage. But it's the same idea. Put the things in the right places. Right, well, let's have a go. Same idea. The difference here being I've given you the information in a bit of text. You need to read it, try and work them out, and then we'll put them in. There's the equation. Let's put those numbers in. Let's work them through. What is VP? VP is what was the voltage on the primary? Okay, that's what we don't know. VS, that's the voltage on the secondary, or the potential difference on the secondary. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, 240 on its secondary. So that's 240. NP, that is the number of turns on the primary. So, 10,000 turns. Yes, 10,000 turns. What was the voltage on the primary if there are 10,000 turns on it? So 10,000. And that leaves NS is 240. So it outputs, sorry, no, it's 150, isn't it? It's 150 turns. That is the hardest bit, really. It's just working out what everything in. There we go, though. Put the numbers in the same way. NP, 10,000, 10,000. NS, 150, 150. VP, VP, we don't know. VP. VS, 240, 240. All the numbers in. Tidy up. Multiply through. Finally, do your calculation. Let's have another go. Same idea. Okay, pause it if you need to and try and work these out. Okay, we're going to go on to the next ones in a moment. The next ones are slightly harder. So if you weren't too sure about those, go back through them. And in the next few slides, I'm going to try and calculate these ones at the bottom, which are, like I say, slightly harder. There's our equation. 
they were reasonably easy. I hope you found them easy. These ones are a little bit more difficult, and they're more difficult because they're at the bottom, and we need to do two lots of rearranging. Let's put those numbers in. Let's see what they are then. Let's have a look. Here's the numbers we're going to use. Put all the numbers in just the same way as before. So there we go. We had NP is 100, is 100, that's fine. Uh, NS is 50, it's 50, that's fine. VP is 20, that's 20, all good. And VS, that's what we don't know. Now, this is the thing that makes it more difficult. It's at the bottom. Now, whenever we rearrange, we have to have the numbers all by themselves. We have to get these, sorry, these letters that we're trying to find. The thing that we're trying to find has to be all by itself and it has to be at the bottom. Sorry, it has to be at the top. Now that's at the bottom. We have to somehow get it to the top and get it to be by itself. So let's see how we do that. First of all, tidy up. Just like before. Now, first thing we're let's get this to the top. I want to get this here to the top. And to do that, I'm going to multiply both sides by VS. So if that side's multiplied by VS, it disappears. And the VS appears to appear over there and we end up with that. But I need this VS all by itself. This is going to be the subject and the subject needs to be by itself. Let's get rid of this. And there we go. The rules for rearranging are just the same but we have to do it twice. I have to do it twice because the thing we're doing, that we were after the VS and that was at the bottom. We had to get it to the top and then we had to get rid of the other thing. Here's another, another one. Same idea. Here's the numbers we're using. Let's put them in. Make it look tidy. Multiply both sides by NS. Get rid of the 0.4. Get it well away from the NS. The NS is the subject. There we go, 250. Same idea. Let's find that information out though. Find it from the uh, information that's up there. There we go, just the same as before. We took it to the other side, got it to the top of the equation, got rid of the other thing. The answer is 10. Okay, one last one. Getting the information from there again. Find it out. Find out what VP is, find out what VS is. NP, NS. Okay. Tidy up. The NS needs to be at the top. It needs to be at the top of the equation. So multiply through by NS, take it to the top. And there we go. NS, the number of turns on the secondary, is 4. And that is the end. Hopefully you find it useful. If not, go through it again, work, more, work your way through it, and try some examples. Just make up some numbers, and you can work on it yourself. Thank you.